we're a country that uh, punches well above its weight uh, in uh, international relations. Uh, so I didn't say what you said, the misleader strikes again, uh, putting words in other people's mouths and stating things uh, that are not true, Deputy. Um, and if you ever have the opportunity to attend a European Council meeting, whether as a minister or perhaps even as Taoiseach, you'll understand that there are 27 different member states and they all have their different perspective. Uh, our attitude to the conflict in Israel and Palestine is very much guided by our own historical experience. But you need to understand that people's attitudes in other countries might also be guided by their historical experience, uh, particularly uh, in relation to the events in the 1930s and the 1940s. And you have to be sensitive to that, not pig-headed about it. And that's an important, important the, 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 way, the way, you, way you conduct yourself um, uh, in, in international affairs. Uh, we've been very active on this, extremely active. Um, the Thaunista and I, meetings, phone calls, huge numbers. And we were instrumental in making sure that the European Council statement issued last Sunday uh, was balanced and was not one-sided. Uh, and we were instrumental in that, along with no a number of other countries uh, in the European Union. And Deputy, we do have friends and we do have allies and we build up those contacts and build up those relationships all the time. Okay. And among you, our you friends should. are the Palestinians, by the way. Uh, and they would recognise that, as do all the, all the other Arab Thank countries. You, My fear, Deputy, is your approach, if you were a Taoiseach, we're is that you would time. not make friends, no. you would make enemies. Taoiseach, enemies over, in the European Union, Taoiseach, you'd make enemies of the United States, and our country time. would suffer as a result, and the Palestinians would gain we're, nothing. We're way over time.